I can make this review easy. The Nikon D850 is the best and most versatile DSLR currently on the market. So what am I gonna talk about for the rest of this video? Well, I will spend a little time wondering and worrying if DSLRs are dying, but first I wanna thank Squarespace for their sponsorship of this video. You can get started making a beautiful portfolio at squarespace.com slash TV. Now let's talk about the highlights of the Nikon D850, and there's quite a few. First, the camera feels wonderful in the hand and offers a control layout that just really works. Except the auto ISO dial, that's a little awkward to switch on and off, but bracketing, focus modes, the excellent dedicated focus nub on the back all make for an extremely pleasing operation. I also love the lighted buttons, something they started with the D500 series. Standing under the stars a few nights ago using this camera, all the other photographers on the workshop were quite jealous of my softly illuminated buttons. You've got a beautiful, big, bright viewfinder, a vibrant and gorgeous screen that is fully touch enabled. You can work through the menus with it, touch to focus works really well, even when you've got heavier ND filters on, and it's articulated, though like Sony, it is just tilting, not flippity outy. Overall, it's packed full of additional features like an intervalometer that makes possible an 8K time lapse. Really, it just shoots a picture. You have to stitch those together in a time lapse, but drop to 4K and you can have the video created in camera. You also have focus peaking, focus shift for stacking and creating images with huge depth of field. That can be useful in some situations. And this camera has awesome image quality. Now, I've been shooting with the Sony a7R II for just over two years, and every camera I've reviewed since then, I've compared to the Sony, sometimes unfairly, not always sharing with you all. And we finally have a comparably priced camera that matches the Sony. We have excellent image quality with lots of room to brighten the shadows before you see noise. We have great, great high ISO performance, and this is with a 45 megapixel sensor. Zooming on these images is lovely. There is so much detail, so much room to crop when needed, and on top of all that, it shoots 4K video that isn't cropped. Couple all of that with an impressive autofocus system, access to all of Nikon's lenses, and overall, as I said in the opening, this is the most versatile and best DSLR currently on the market. I, typically, I feel Nikon has offered excellent cameras in the past, but you know they've always been hampered by a few too many issues for me to excitedly recommend them. One was the live view experience. You often were blocked from making aperture changes in manual. There's no easy exposure preview, no display of your histogram. That's all gone in this D850. With the press of the OK button, you've got a live view that switches between preview and constant brightness, and it is an absolute joy to work with. Though I did see some kind of settings jump from time to time when I turned live view on or off. We're just gonna call that a bug. And overall, there's very little holding this camera back from greatness, except a few issues. One, focus during video. That's still terrible. It's extremely slow, it's distracting. You can throw an AFP lens on and it gets a little smoother, but it's still nothing like the dual pixel autofocus of Canon or, or Sony's smooth autofocus system. Also, shooting video without a viewfinder is difficult in brighter conditions, and that focus peaking that Nikon nicely added in here, well, it doesn't work during 4K filming. And for stills, sure, you have a capable AF system, but as you might know, DSLR focusing systems often need AF adjustments to work their best. And while Nikon nicely, again, provides an in-camera system for adjusting focus, it is limited. And with this many megapixels, it's important to really nail your focus and know that your focus system is gonna be accurate. And I found that to not always be the case when shooting through the viewfinder with the D850. And this is one of those signs of the death of DSLRs. The benefits of moving the focus system to the sensor are starting to outweigh the drawbacks. I was also disappointed with battery life. I mean, if you find yourself using this screen often, which I love, as I frequently set up at angles that make the viewfinder use awkward, this big bright screen draws a lot of power. And if you have SnapBridge turned on so that all your photos get sent over to your phone, well, I found myself during the days on the workshop replacing a battery before the day was even over. And while I really like SnapBridge on a consumer camera, it doesn't suit a more pro-level camera so well. And getting a little picky now, you've got several customizable buttons on here, but what you can actually assign to those buttons is very limited. And one more point, it's a big camera. 
Now, sure, for some of you, that's a check mark in the pro column, but after using a variety of mirrorless cameras over the last year, I appreciate a smaller, lighter camera. And yes, if we're talking about a full frame Sony, as you start to add lenses, those weight savings start to disappear, but at least you have the option of traveling lighter at times with lightweight lenses. All in all though, I'd be very happy to use this camera, especially for landscapes where I can use live view and know my focus will be accurate. Throw the very sharp Sigma 24 to 105 f4 on and you've got a killer combination for general photography, travel, and landscape. I do want to take a moment to thank Squarespace for their sponsorship of this video. Squarespace makes it extremely easy to create a beautiful website or portfolio. A few weeks ago in my Instagram tips video, I mentioned having a link in your bio to send viewers interested in seeing more of your work someplace. And Squarespace is, in my opinion, the best someplace. It's the fastest and easiest way to create a beautiful portfolio with all of your favorite images without worrying about Instagram or Facebook compressing them and them looking like crap. Use the link squarespace.com slash photorectv to save 10% off the purchase of a site or domain name and you can find a link below for more helpful guide in building your portfolio. Thank you, Squarespace. Now, D810 users or D500 users wondering if you should upgrade, I've got thoughts on that along with raw files from the D850 for you to download at photorectv slash D850. All right, I'd love to hear your thoughts, counter opinions, and what camera you're currently lusting after. Leave that all in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe and click that little bell notification to be notified of future reviews, giveaways, we've got one coming soon, and more. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.